Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Scans Library's Beach Forest that they released today. Now, just a disclaimer, I was not paid to make this video. This is a user review. We're going to take a look at it right here. Um, I think it said RTX 2080 minimum to run it. So let's take a look at these settings real quick. We're running this on a 4090. Uh, let me set this to high, 4K high, and then we'll go from there, okay? So here we are. I saw in the notes page that they are going to be removing that lake because you can kind of see it's problematic. But with the high quality translucency reflections turned on, you're going to see that it looks a little bit better. Anyways, here's the environment. Like I said earlier, Scans Library is a store online that sells photo scanned assets. And I ran into them because I was looking for photo scan assets to use in video omniverse like i've mentioned before but now they're starting to sell in the epic marketplace as well this is actually the second pack that they sold the first one being arid landscape which is actually pretty good too now whenever you get your map if you purchase this it might not look like this because i did change it a little bit and additionally as far as i know by default the trees were not nanite but I went ahead and nanited all of the trees, all of the plants. All right. So this is nanite enabled. And again, scans, let me know in the comments below. Um, are we looking at the full? Because uh, I don't think this is the full quality tree. Because I, I saw the website. They look amazing, though. I, I think they're still optimized for, you know, like video games. So not necessarily virtual production. They look pretty good. But man, it just kind of makes you wonder, like, what would it look like if you start putting, you know, the barks with millions of triangles in it and 8K textures and maybe one day 16K texture. It's just, your mind just really wonders a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is Nanite virtual shadow maps running in high setting. And it looks pretty darn good. It's a pretty small space, but you do get a lot of assets. And just look at this. It looks incredible. And it's pretty cool because, like I mentioned before, Mavi, he, he kind of stopped making, you know, maps, like big environments. And I'm glad Scans, you know, they're starting to create some because we need these. These are really good quality assets. And like I said, maybe one day we can get like a virtual production version of this. Just a smaller section, but super high quality. Nanite and Lumen is really starting to look good. Starting to look really good. Yeah, the RTX 4090 is killing this right here. Killing it. That's 74 frames per second. Let me turn on VSync. Some of y'all wanted to see it with VSync. So let's turn on VSync real quick. Okay, make sure everybody's happy. So here it is with VSync. We're getting 60 frames per second now. Just a little bit of jump there. My gosh, this looks amazing. Get a little bit of flicker there. And again, this... Um, the, the actual default, the trees are not nanite enabled, so I just did it. Let's see here. Really freaking amazing. So again, 70 here. And I'm also going to try this in virtual reality, obviously. And maybe try it with a reflective character. Oh. I forgot. I forgot to I forgot to increase the health of that dinosaur. That was like two shot. But my goodness. Wow. Looks amazing. Yeah, man, epic setting. This GPU is not really bothered by it at all.
crazy, man. Yeah, this is playable at epic. Is it epic or high? Alright, so what we'll do is we'll crank it up to... I think we're in high right now. Yeah, let's go to epic. I still have a new uh, V-Sync on. Alright, so this is epic settings. Again, about 36 frames per second. And so you can see my wattage went up. Like 420. And I'm going to try and slowly move around here. We still have V-Sync on. And you kind of see that water start. Yeah, it looks a lot better now. I'll look in the lake again here in a second. It's about 35 frames per second here. And it looks incredible. I like this little path that they made too. Wow. Looks amazing. You just walk around here, man. It's, it's pretty good stuff. 36 frames per second. Oh, we're, I'm ready for the 8090. I don't know if, about y'all, but I'm ready for the RTX 8090. Because I'm pretty sure with the 8090, we're going to be able to run this in VR 4K per eye. So here's the water. You got to see this is high quality translucency reflections that I have enabled in here now. And you can see that it looks a lot better than before. Now before that option, it would look like crap. But with it turned on, you kind of see it, that it looks good. Wow. I guess it just kind of goes around. Oh man. 37 frames per second, 72, 73. <laughs> It's starting to heat up. I'm actually afraid to go all the way to go all the way to uh to cinematic ultra in this one, boys and girls. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm not feeling too good about this one. Let me check my cart. Oh man. Oh boy. All right. Well, I guess let's just let's get it over with. Oh, turn the setting on. Let's go to Ultra. And that's Ultra for you. 20 frames per second. Oh, wow. Wow, that is the hottest I have seen my card. 75 degrees Celsius. Oh, we're turning up the heat. Man, we're turning it up. Oh gosh, 19 frames per second, 18, yo, let's go back to the water, 76, hang in there, yeah, I think I'm pushing this a little bit too hot, oh man, this is the hottest I have ever ran this card. Seventy six. Holy smokes. And look at the water right now. Wow. And this is no DLSS. This is raw power. This is raw. Wow. Let me know what y'all think. I mean, this is... I'm looking at this in my screen, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to screenshot this right here, and I'm going to include it in a link below so you can see the image from my screen because obviously YouTube is going to compress it. I'm going to do that. I'll put the link in the description. Go download that screenshot that we just took. If I see a better one, I might take another one. I think... Let me go ahead and take this one. Let me take that one because 
Yeah, that looks good. But anyways, that's pretty much it. That's the beach forest. I'm going to be running this again with a different character, a little bit more shiny. Uh, playing around with it a little bit. I'm going to take it in VR. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Check it out if you want to look at it. Again, it might not look like this because I did change some settings around. I might run some old, uh, ultra dynamic sky, ultra dynamic weather on this. Just kind of make it rain and things like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like always, if y'all have any questions, let me know. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and check out my course on ArtStation and Gumroad, my how to make a movie with Unreal Engine 5.1 using MetaHumans. Please do support me so I can keep making these videos. Peace out.